This is Pranav Guha Thakurta from Edu TV. Today we are with Miss Barara, Miss Priyanka Barara, who is a principal of Delhi International School, Rohini. Ma'am, welcome. Ma'am, first of all, I would like to have your suggestion for the students, parents, teachers during these medical emergencies. Yeah. See, um, my strongest suggestion is that yes, academics is important. We do not have to ignore it, but at the same time, it's very important to create a balance in this situation because as it is, the external environment is creating a lot of pressure and anxiety. So academics should not become a source of creating pressure on our children. Rather, it should provide a very positive engagement and a learning platform for our children. And this will happen only if we get a complete cooperation by the parents and by the teachers. It's how we reflect because children... Children are going to imbibe our thought process, our reflections, our reactions. So it's very important that we give that stability to our children. And this is possible only if we collaborate. We understand that. Yeah. Ma'am, there are students in class 12, either there some of the papers are left, plus they don't know how they will go to university now. What is your suggestion for the students who have written the class 12 examination this year? Yeah, I think about 70% students have written, but 30% are still left. So the 70% have an advantage now. They can spend more time on the preparation for various entrances that they would do. So this is a, let's look at it like this, that God's given you some extra time to hone your skills and master your art, whatever you are good at do it better. And wherever you feel that you were lacking, you can work more on that area. Wonderful. Wonderful, ma'am. Ma'am, now I think because of uh, so many historical things, ma'am, mm -hmm. do we have to reimagine the classroom education now? Definitely. Actually, the, the we were getting signals from the environment anyway that a lot of reimagining, restructuring of the demand was of the classroom was required, and this has been a, another opportunity. See, it's of course these are troubled times, but then how we look at it? Look at it as an opportunity to hone your skills, right. to work on the areas, on integrating technology in a much better way. Uh, I had I've always felt that the current system required a little more imagination on the part of the educators. And this is the time where we can give open-ended questions to our children, ask them to be creative. So it's, it's not just about writing something, writing a few answers on a paper or a pen paper test. There can be so many different other means of assessment. Let's discover those. And technology is definitely available. We just need to tap the resources. We'll have some rapid fire questions, ma'am. Rapid questions and you have to answer them with fire. Okay. Ms. Barara, which is your favorite day of the week? Day of the week? It's Wednesday. Okay. Yeah, Wednesdays are the most effective days. Yes. I agree. What do you enjoy more, texting or talking? Talking. Okay. If you, if you were given the opportunity to fly into space, given today's technology, would you take? Yes. Okay. Good one. If you were to write a journal, what will you prefer, paper and pen or a laptop, oblique computer? There, I would prefer laptop. It gives me more freedom. Okay. The last question. If you could push a button and make everyone in the world 7% happier. 7%? It, yeah, 7%. Mm -hmm. Whatever they are, 7% more. But it would also place a worldwide ban on all the hair styling products would you push it yes okay Good because one. these things are temporary Good one. thank you so much miss barara i'm sure your you. uh, answers will help uh, many students yes. teachers parents and uh, we would like to come and disturb you again uh, for we can because there any is time there's always scope of improvement man in, uh, improvement in everything man yeah anytime thank you so much uh, anytime thank you Thank you. Thank you.